This playthrough is rated E10+. I've got a probe to pick with you. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Sigma Star Saga. In the last episode, we helped Simi with her um, medical problems, her uh, girl issues, as it were. And uh, she ended up sprouting wings because she drinks energy drinks, apparently. And uh, yeah, now we've got the girl wings, and now we can fly like a like a wings of an eagle or wings of the butterfly. It even makes the kind of the enchanting noise when you uh, when you fly. So. Might be a little bit hard uh, to be a man when you, when that happens, but you know sometimes real men take what they what they do and continue their job no matter what no matter what they wear, I say. But anyway, we gotta find three probes to figure out where the antivirus and virus have gone off to because Scarlet Keys ran off, as well as uh, the head of this place. So we are gonna have to find our next uh, find them. So it's gonna be fun. So we have to find these probes to find the next uh, uh, planet that's synchronized. And uh, we also threatened our boss Turney with uh, the antivirus or whatever. So it looks like uh, looks like uh, we're on our own pretty much when it comes to organizations. And Turney might be working by himself. It's hard to say. Oh, and Balloon is also working with Turney too. So yeah, twists and turns all over the place, man. Oops. Ah, I was actually gonna avoid him, but because you know you don't have to. Since there's no experience from for record, there's no point to fight everyone. So. Just avoid them. Light the Noid. Message with your pizza, yo. All right. And this is why I didn't go here when I was here the first time. Because one, we couldn't get further without the wings. But two, you know, obviously, not to double double dip and uh, go into certain areas. So I keep forgetting to switch to the boots. It's just easier to. Uh, whoops. I was actually gonna switch to the boots on my passes, guys, but. Oh, we got a new enemy here, our boss. This guy's really annoying to fight because the way he works is that, well, other than just hitting you, try to hit you with a lot of um, bullets, the only way you can hit him is uh, through, uh, um, yeah, right there. See that little, like, when his, um, when his ring, ah, when his ring, uh, um, there we go. When his ring uh, attaches together to, uh, hit the center, you have to try and get as much damage as you can. And unfortunately, he keeps uh, just shooting at you, so there's not much you can do. You can use smart bombs to try and uh, get rid of them. Ah, and I didn't even get any damage off. Yeah, the problem with losing the probes just similar to this is that um, not being able to hit the center of it. Ah, man. And I got the worst ship for this, too. Well, I guess not the worst ship. It's just... Ah. Yeah, these probes do not work for this boss at all. You need to have them basically be straight because of the way it works. Um, see, I didn't even get any hits off on him. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to finish this guy without dying. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of HP because of the way he works. It's just... you. It's... Yeah, I probably didn't have the best build for this, that's for sure. That could have been bad, actually. But luckily we prevailed. The only problem is I don't have a lot of life left, so I have to be very careful. So hopefully we can get a... Actually, what I might do is I might just uh, re-enter yeah, re these screens and just wait till I get HP from... Okay, there we go. All right, we'll take it. Because I could just keep resetting the, uh, the statues. All right, ended up getting a level from that, so very nice. Helps me while well, I heal, so that makes it a lot easier. Uh-oh. Snakes or worms. Sandworms. You hate them, don't you, viewers? All right. Yeah, this is going to be kind of a pain in the butt to get back, huh? Because we have to go through all this thing. I hope, hopefully there's a shortcut, but they wouldn't give us that, right? All right, and then up ahead we should be able to get, yeah, a data plug here. So now let's go and save it. Just in case. And it does heal us when we do that too, so. Even though we didn't need it, really, so. But still, data plug. Alright, we've almost gained another level. Nice. Oh, ah. Uh, nuts. Come on. Alright, if we go up this way, <clears throat> there should be a. Where are you? 
Man, we're getting experience like mad. We almost got another level. All right, anyway, here we get the gun data. So if we keep going forward, let's see what we got. All right, this is the totem. Uh, stone chunk is created that falls and explodes on impact. It's not bad, but I prefer the bubble. Bubble or splinter, one of the two, so. All right, let's get back. Yeah, get a little eh, helping hand. Nothing too crazy. Right, let's go this way. All right, gotta, gotta remember to uh, keep equipping the shoes. Get through stuff faster. <laughs> mustn't, mustn't squish, mustn't bite. But anyway, there's another gun data here. All right, what do we get this time? 15. All right, angel cannon. Fire shots in a wide forward array. Show that off. Yeah, not bad. I mean, I prefer the probes. I mean, basically, I found the more op well, more opportune way to play the game for the most part. So you probably hardly see me swap out uh, different uh, different gun data unless uh, very specific on that. So that's just how it is, folks. Sometimes you find the more op. Uh, uh, Opportune, uh... Oh, I think we're in a new enemy. Okay, wah! Uh, it's Seymour! Okay, so we got ourselves a, um... Uh... Well, a sand snake of some sort, so... Yeah, I forgot about this guy. Yeah, he basically just pops up out of these holes. So... The way is just to stick in one spot. Yeah, the, uh, the circling probes really make this easier. I know he does other things, I believe. His big thing is just sticking up out of the sand. And the fact there is a spot you can't, he can't hit you at. So that kind of makes this boss a little bit too easy. I'm yeah, sorry, dude. Another level. All right. Keep going this way. Uh, there should be a. Let's see. Should be a cave up ahead. All right, let's keep going. Speedy, speedy, speedy. All right, get past this group of bozos. Whoa! I don't even know what I fought there. Keep uh, <clears throat> going up these stairs. Ah, there's the cave. All right, and we've got some gun data here. All right, this one's number 24 on the yellow track. Curse! Ship loses health with each shot, but refills to max when victorious. So you get, so you basically guarantee a heal, but you have to basically go through the fight pretty efficiently to do that. So I'm not a fan of that because there's plenty of ways to heal in this game. So it's not like healing is hard when you think about it. It's just, uh, whoops. It, it's, it's weird, but yeah, there's ways to cheap heal if you really need to heal. So, all right, let's go down. Yeah, that's, I think that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, the snake is probably one of the easiest bosses in the game because you can just, uh, you know, kind of just bypass it, really, when you think about it. All right, there should be a... There it is, the first probe. You found a probe. Simi, come in. Go ahead. I found the first probe. I hope charging the transmission frequency does the job. We won't know until you find the next probe. Get out of there and haul your tail to the next planet. All right. Now, we're not quite done yet. There's one more gun data I need to find. Let me see if I can find it. There's the data plug. Let's see. It is... It's supposed to be, like, around, I think, to, the, like, the left. Oops. Nah, I don't need to save. I think it's, yeah, around here. All right. And then let's head into the cave here. And another gun data. 
All right, what's this one? Number 24. Sweeper one, swan helper node moves horizontally back and forth. Gross. No, uh, so not bad, but like I said, the uh, this one's better. I mean, just overall. So, I mean, it would be good if I didn't actually find that, but I did, so. Oh, well, anyway. All right, there should be a, yeah, if we jump here, this will help us uh, get back to the, um, uh, a little bit faster to uh, the uh, the ship, so. All right, now we need to, um, <clears throat> I think that's it. So basically, yeah, all we have to do now is just go all the way back to um, uh, the star base. So if we go this way, yes, this definitely helps us get all the way. See, we found a shortcut all the way back to the base. Normally I would cut to uh, back to the base, but I wanted to show you that shortcut really quick. Um, see, and this takes us back to the uh, outside of the cave. So yeah. So I'll, anyway, so we're back at. Uh, I'll show you here. Yeah, we're back here. So now right, let's head back to the base. Yeah, I said normally I cut this out, but I wanted to show you it. So for those who didn't want to walk all the way back, it actually gives you that little nice little uh, shortcut. So all right. Now, normally you probably head back to the fire planet or something like that next or something like that. But anyway, we're going to go to the ice planet first. There's a reason why we'll save the fire planet for last, not just because it's in the order. All right. Yep, and we have to go all the way back there. All right, time to put on our coat again and galoshes, I guess. Do you have anything to say? My parents are named Zarg. You can't talk or anything, but that's what I call him. I don't think I remember that dialogue. Huh. Well, anyway. But yeah, the, uh, unfortunately, the commanders here have nothing to say, which is sad. Oh, well. All right, so now on this map, we have to head to... Uh, let's see. I have to look at my... That's really quick. So, uh, in. yeah, so we have to go uh, right instead of a, uh, usually we go the other way or something like that, but we'll go this way. Run past everyone. Yeah, we already, ah, stupid bug things. How dare you. End up fighting a mini boss. I think it's the the gem with the, like the dog face or whatever. And uh, all right, so okay, let's go over this one first. This one should have some gen data in a cave with a pile of scraps. All right, let's uh, float over this. Float, float, float. Uh, oh wait, no, never mind. I think I want to go to the lower one first. All right, because uh, the probe for this one is pretty pretty quick to get to. Sorry, I wanted to go to this one first. There's two bridges here, the one on the top and one on the bottom, so. All right, then we need our scanner, because uh, I think it's hidden. There it is, as you can see there. He's very angry. All right, we get the revenge. Ship guns may malfunction, releasing bombs. Yeah, another one that's an interesting a concept, but uh, I'm not a fan of it. Like I said, I've told you, I basically found the most optimal, well, not the optimal, but one of the more optimal builds in the game. So, and like most things, dominant strategy and all that, you're going to use the thing that works the most efficiently. There's, I mean, yeah, you could try different ones just for fun, and of course you should do that. This game isn't... Well, it's difficult in pieces, depending on where you're at. But the problem is, is it is true that some of the, um, uh, yeah, some more gun data here. 
but it is true that there are some builds that are pretty inefficient in terms of like it may be worse for you super wave shot energy patterns with superior range so yeah they kind of go i still like the triple shots but yeah look how crazy that's looking it's all over the place but all right, let's go this way all right now ah, get out of my way pudgy ah that's what i get for running I just wanted to collect more souls. Oh wait, that's a different game. That's what we get for running too fast. No running in the hallways. Well, I'm sorry, I'm gonna fly across the hallways then. Ah! You guys just won't lay off. I'm gonna get out of here with my beautiful wings. My beautiful balloon. All right, there's the other uh, probe. I found a probe. <laughs> Simey, this is, or Sime, this is it. Looks like it's linking to the first one. Great, I bet all the running around is good. Oh, wait, no, I didn't give her the Irish voice. I don't know why I said, sorry. I, I've slept since then. Great, I bet all this running around is good for your glutes. You should try it. Two plants in one day. Well, this is a triathlon. You have one plant to go. Good luck. Good luck. All right, anyway, I'm going to make it back to the ship, so I don't need to show you this because there's no unique shortcut for this one. All right, we're back after going through that didn't take very long all right now we need to go to the fire planet so let's uh find that here there we go all right onwards All right, back at the fire plant, so we don't have to talk uh, uh, talk to Zelly yet, but we do actually have to at some point. Just there's no dialogue if you try to talk to her now, even though you think you'd want to after everything that happened. But okay, whatever. That's just how the game works, I guess, or the story works. So, all right, go up to here and let's go this way this time. So now we're gonna find a new area to explore. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been back here. So, all right, let's see. Up, oh, sorry. Uh, okay. Yeah, we want to go down here. Pass this guy. I guess I could put on the boots. Alright, yeah, there's the beacon, by the way, so... Oh, we're, we're, that we were here a long time ago. Alright, and yeah, I've never... I, I forgot you could actually teleport to the random encounters on the uh, floating. That was weird, though, to see that. All right, let's uh, just shoot you. Since you guys are weak enough anyway, so. Actually, I think I want to keep going left, if I recall. All right, yep, there's the spikes. All right, let's find the thing for the spikes. Where are you? I know you're around here somewhere. Hold on. There it is. Aha. All right, switch to the boots. Boom. So here's the new area, finally. All right, now we've got, ooh. Now oh, I don't know why I didn't equip the puck. Kick, kick to Doom. Doom guy would've been a lot more effective if he had the puck. Yeah, baby. Ah, I've got enough health, I don't need it. And I've got max smart bombs right now anyway, so. Wah. Yeah, just run into a punch, huh? Why don't you? So, there's some uh, uh, safe pad there. They just and I haven't uh, found any um, new enemies yet, so that's why I haven't been showing them. So, just for just to let you know, and it's hard to tell sometimes. Sometimes I'm killing stuff so easily at this point that it's like hard to see if I'm actually. Uh, uh, ooh, there's spikes there. Keep that in mind. First, we must go up. Ah! Watch out, yo. Oh, I forgot to mention, I think it was the f a couple fights ago, I forgot to mention I gained a level. Uh, but yeah, a lot of the enemies are just, like, just dying left and right, so. Just 
easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, all right, we want to go up this way first, I believe. For some gun data, all right. And what do we get? Bomb steel. On the 30th impact, a bomb item is dropped. So it's a way to get smart bombs in during uh, flight sim parts if you uh, need uh, smart bombs. So that could be useful to an extent. I mean, it doesn't help on bosses, unfortunately, but it's definitely a useful um, uh, item if you're, that's what you're considering. But like with the health thing, if you really want bombs, just, re just respawn statues over and over and over again and you'll eventually get enough bombs or healing or something like that, so. I mean, I know the point is to, um, ooh, what's this? Uh, the point is to get it during combat, you know what I mean, so. Oh, whoops. Forgot to switch to my boots. All bad. Now let's try that again. With style. Oh, I haven't shown this boss off before, okay. Yeah, it's basically a floating, uh, uh, like UFO or something like that with eyes or something like that, but it's dead. Yeah, it summons those probe things attacking us pretty much it. But I never sh showed you, so, you know, why not? Okay, so let's, uh, hit that. And go through the cave. Alright, what do we got in here? Ah, watch it, watch it, bub. Okay, let's see. Wait for the puck. There we go. So I think it's up on this one. I think the left is later. So sorry. Sometimes I'm like miss looking at my notes. So okay, that's why I just said not to not even to worry about going up because there's nothing there. Yeah, with my notes, I'm always, I'm always, I do it shorthand sometimes, so I don't, I'm just like, what am I doing? But anyway, let's get some gun data. And this time we get number 19 on the red track. Super power shot. Adds plus five damage to your current power. So this is another uh, solid one to swap out to. So if you don't want triple shot, you can do super power shot is another solid way to go. Um, I still like triple shot a little bit better, but this is, uh, but, um, doing, um, doing the plus five damage is actually pretty good too. So either one would work. So anyway, let's jump down here and we got another smash pad. So yeah, we would have had to do that anyway for this whole purpose right here. So, all right. Okay. So let me look at my map now. So I need... See, I need to go, yeah, I need to go all the way back to, because this new area is where I was supposed to get a bunch of uh, gun data, but now uh, I have to go um, uh, to get to the last probe, I have to go to the down corner part. Well, I'll show you on the map where I'm going to go, but I basically need to leave this area to, uh, to do it, so. And I think this takes us all the way back, if I recall, so. Yeah, see, this is a... Uh, but anyway, so I just wanted to show me getting to this place here, so I'm not sure where I'm at now. So basically, we just need to go through, basically go back the way we came to uh, get back to this other area. So I'll uh, sh I'll I'll come back after um, showing you on my next location where I'm at and find the next gun data, and then we'll find the next probe. So uh, I'll be back in a second. Oh, I guess I'll show that off really quick. Sorry, I didn't say anything, but this cave takes us... Remember when we went south, this had to take us to the new area? This cave was where we started at, for what you know, so... Okay, now I'll be uh, back after we get to where our next location. All right, we're back at uh, the uh, our destination here, so... Let's, uh, let me show you where I'm at just to verify, so... Or to tell you again, basically, it's in this square here. This is where the beacon is. And if you go farther down south and cross a bunch of gaps with those light platforms, if you go in here next to the data plug, we'll go into a cave that'll have a, um, a gap that we were, couldn't go over a while back. 
So if we go over here, we get a gun data. And this gets us yellow 21. Another skull. And just ship's engines may malfunction. Releasing bombs. Again. Okay, well, anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it, so. Hey, why not? It reveals bombs if it malfunctions, so. I like it, I guess. All right. So now. All right, so now we need to get to uh, over this way. Okay, I think I could just make the jump here, so. All right, so what we need to do is uh, we need to get to that, basically that yellow square down there. Uh, or uh, yellow square, orange square right there, and that'll take us to the, the cave we want. Actually, I think we might actually be in the destination I want already, actually. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I know it's, uh, uh, never mind, it's in this cave specifically. All right, should be a gap we, yeah, there's a gap we couldn't get to earlier. I guess I could have shown the, me getting there on the recording, but um, I thought just telling you where the beacon was was the easiest way to go. So, but anyway, yeah, this is where the beacon is, or the probe. Okay, the last one is activated. It seems to be linked to the other two. Now, how do I read this thing? We're talking about a resonating pulse. It'll be audio, so I can't. I can decode it from here. Are you picking up anything? Yes, but the signal is only strong enough to get a lo local on one planet. But something's wrong. It's been removed from the char star charts as a condemned world, a forgotten planet. Let me guess, it's called Forgotten Planet. Isn't that like a sci-fi, science fiction movie or series? I think. I think so. I think it's a sci-fi movie. It's like the Forgotten Planet or Lost on the Forgotten Planet, something like that. That's weird. So no way to ID the last planet. Unfortunately, no. Well, one is better than nothing. It may be worse than nothing. There's no star base there. We'll need to pull a favor then. How? How do we have dirt? Who do we have dirt on besides Balloon? Well, there's Commander Zelly on Starbase too, but she wouldn't help. Uh, uh, she wouldn't help. She hates us. She hates you. I'm her loyal servant who executed Balloon. Remember? Man, looking back, I almost wish I had. Don't say that. Balloon may be a screw up, but at least he thinks he's doing what's right for the people. At least he's not a backstabber. All right, Miss Liar. Yeah, uh, back uh, hitting it back to me, but you know you're just as bad, lady. Charming as ever. Anyway, I think Zelly is our best shot. I like how he just kind of brushes it off. Then I'll have to stay here. Try not to tick her off. I'm off to Starbase 2, which I'm already here. That dialogue would happen no matter if you're on the fire planet. So, all right, time to head back to Starbase. So, I'll, I'll meet you on the way back there. It's pretty straightforward, so. All right, made our way back to the Starbase. So, let's talk to Commander Zelly. What the? I thought all our men were dead. Who's this guy? Zelly, no commander by that name here. Huh, weird. Well, that's odd. Stand on that. Don't need to save. Just get the full heals. Ah, well, who else is here? No Zelly in this base. Really? I'm new here. I don't know much of anybody. Oh, yeah, wasn't it all women here before? Now it's all dudes. Huh. What's with the four meat pizza going on here? You know what I mean? Zelly, don't come here by that name here. Don't get original names, and they all have unique red outfits, though. So are you like, shouldn't you question like why I'm here or who I am? Well, anyway, that's important, by the way, that uh, that gap there, if you haven't already guessed. Let's see if anyone else has any unique dialogue, probably not. Let's see, that's the, Commander Zelly, nope. Commander Ammer has always been the commander of Starbase 2, was when I joined up. Well, how long ago did you join up, though? So, that's the question. All right, let's see what this Ammer has to say. Are you Commander Ammer? Oh, that, that picture that shows there does not belay the picture of, like, the actual sprite itself. Like, I don't see you in my appointment book. Who are you and what can I do for you? I'm Wrecker, previously signed here to Commander Zelly. You are a human. Yes, can you tell me where to find com the commander? I'm afraid the only commander on this starbase is and has always been me. But I served with her here. I spoke to her the other day in this very room. You must be mistaken. 
many star bases look alike and they are rotated from time to time. You wouldn't be the first to walk into the wrong classroom, so to speak. I suppose so. How embarrassing for me. Pay him no mind. Well, pay it no mind. Well, I have things to tend to. Yes, me too. Forgive the interruption. We are probably thinking, well, what do we do now now that Commander Zelly's gone? So, well, remember that room that, uh, uh, that has the uh, gap in it? Well, let's do, let's mess with that, shall we? I don't think anyone else has anything. Nope, okay, same thing, so. There, right, let's uh, cross the gap here. Yeah, they planned it ahead of time. It's almost like we're expecting to come here eventually. Huh. Uh, let me see. I don't think there's anything. I just... Give me a second. I'm just double-checking something really quick before it. Okay. So, I have to be careful. There is a... I think there's supposed to be a, uh... Gun data in one of these rooms. So, I'm trying to remember which one, though. Oh, there it is. I thought uh, I, I thought I had on my notes I had to. Uh, uh, okay, there's that one. So sorry, I'm looking at my notes. So sometimes I I should just wait till I grab it. So node orbit one one helper node orbit the ship. So whoops, let me show off that that does. It's just one. So I just happened to find the one that's two earlier. For some reason, I thought I had to have the scanner to find it, but my notes don't mention that, so. All right, let's see. I'm trying to remember what else. Okay. There you go, back. All right, sorry about that weird cut there. I forgot I had to go talk to Sime in the uh, the comm room first before going through that because that area that I said I was I said I had to go back for uh, that was that was where Kel uh, uh, Zelly was supposed to be, but because I hadn't talked to Sime, she didn't pop up yet. So whoops. So Sime, this is urgent. Come in. Go. Commander Zelly is gone. They've erased all record of her existence. Incredible. They are cleaning away every footprint pretty soon. You and I will be the only ones left who know where, what's going on. Has she been transferred or killed? I noticed while working on 2B, uh, SB2 that they have a detention section. I'll check it out. All right, so now we can go back to that one room, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're back. So now now this room will have something in it. Yeah, I was like, I, I, was, I was looking at my notes. I'm like, wait a minute. Something should be here. Whoa. That's not, that's not very flattering. And uh, looks like... This scene kind of reminds me of like a old, uh, like Frank uh, Frank uh, Zetti or Frank Zabetti or something like that. He was an old fancy artist that did kind of artwork similar to this Conan the Barbarian style. And it kind of strangely reminds me of that. I think it's Frank Frazetti. I think his name was. So anyway, Commander Zelly, is that you? Don't don't look at me, Earthman. I'll get you out of here. Dot dot dot. I don't. Uh oh. What the? They found us. Quick. <laughs> Jesus, the cops! They found us, quick, who did this to you? The tyrannical overlord turned on me. I knew too much. Aren't you the same person who killed all of your people to not have spies, so why should we feel bad for you? I'll take care of the crew. Can you find out your way out? Yes, but you mustn't let anyone escape. Not a single one wrecker. Count on it. Oh, but we have trouble killing humans, but all these krill we don't have a problem with. But yeah, we have to kill every single, oops. Oh, actually, that's actually not a bad idea, because it uh, skips to the end of it. Uh, but we have to kill every single new crew member here, so... And unfortunately, the puck, for whatever reason, doesn't work on him. So we have to... Uh, this is what happens when you run. Run, don't walk. So we have to use the pistol on these guys, unfortunately. Alright, let's uh, prepare for combat. And they just stand there. So, yeah, the thing is, you got to remember each of the rooms they're in, um, or areas, and they won't respawn, so you don't have to worry about that. So. All right, I don't, I was about to say, I don't remember them being in any of the rooms here, but I was double checking, so. All right, there's this guy. Yeah, they'll fire you, it's just, they, they have that kind of arc situation going on here, so. All right, let's 
Check out this guy. The problem with them is that, I mean, they're not that hard, but you can't see their bullets, so. Actually, let's go down this way first. This is where the janitor and everything was. Yeah, it's easy to forget this one. Now let's run. Run! Run! Alright, there he is. And this one has a boomerang for whatever reason. I don't know why. Right, anyone else in here? Nope. Alright. Okay. Alright, back the way we came. Good thing the alarm isn't very annoying. Sark has the mode on. No, uh, no, it's not that. It's not the worst uh, uh, noise system that I've run across in the game. Now, let's take care of the guys over here. Yeah, I don't know why they don't let you use the puck on these guys. Actually, I think that's the... Okay. Just making sure. I don't know why I thought there was someone over there. Yeah, for being a scene where you have to basically murder everyone on the ship, it's kind of a... It's not... It doesn't seem as gruesome as it actually is, if that makes sense. Let's see. This is the con room, but I don't know. Okay. Nothing else. All right. We're taking everyone out. Yep. All right. Let's, uh... Let's take our ca commander... The new commander here. You've been demoted, sir. Whoa. Ah. But anyway, yeah. You, well... Yeah, he tries to attack us with his, like, I don't know, his, uh... Ah. Ah. Oh, come on. I had to basically get up right up on him. Yeah, it's a bullet time event, sort of. Oh, man, this guy takes a lot of shots. I forgot about that. There we go. He blows up. What? I thought he shot him with a gun. Oh, and then we get to see Zelly and her not sitting in the chair this time, so... Wow. Very Amazonian of you. Looks like his schedule's clear now. Ha! I have murdered a guy. Wrecker, why did you come back? I'm attempting to sabotage the Overlord's bioweapon. He's been using all of us to search for it. I knew there were six special planets, but I don't know why he needed them. Well, Simon, I found he's missing. Yeah, I found one he's missing. It's a forgotten planet. No starbase there. Without one, we're helpless. You need me to transfer a station there. Can you do it without the Overlord's finding out? Overlord finding out? Effortlessly. Starbase 5 will uh, find new orders placed it above the Forgotten Planet within a few hours. The crew will follow commands upon your arrival. How can I make it up to you? You already have. But Wrecker, do one thing more. Yes. Take out the man at the top. Will you be safe here? Yes, it'll take a while for High Command to catch on. Congratulations, Mr. Wrecker. You've just hijacked a Krill Starbase. Huh. Easier than I thought. Looks like you have an incoming transmission in the comm room. I'll take it here. This is Wrecker. I found our stray sheep. Where is she? I'll tell you in person. Get to Starbase 4 on the double. You make a lovely couple. I wish you both a safe voyage. Couple? I thought she hated me, but yeah, we can't do anything with more, so that's it for Kelly, so. All right, time to head back to Starbase uh, 4. Finally, after all this time. Wow, that was a bit of a journey, wasn't it? Whoops. Ah, that's fine, I can save it. I have a backup file anyway, just in case. That, the pro that's the problem with saving multiple times in a single recording, is that if, if there's a technical issue, I have to read you the whole thing over again, but... Oh, right. I have to actually set it. Derp, 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 derp. Alright, to the sand planet. back here so let's go to the lab and find Syme and see what uh, see our situation here so all right so where's Scarlet run off to where did she go why is she doing this well obviously she's working for Turney or someone like that anyway so you located Scarlet the reason my surface scans couldn't pick her up before is because she's underground where underground Looks like a temple of some sort beneath the ruins she must have the antivirus. Why else would she hide there? When Bloon arrived to steal the virus, she must have run off with it. Which means Bloon killed Professor Zart to get it. Makes sense. Or she killed Professor Zart. 
don't you have a pistol? Uh, I've moved a krill fi fighter to the launch bay and loaded the coordinates into the nav computer. Pilot the ship into the temple and make your way to the central chamber and grab Scarlet. Oh, and make sure you save your progress before launching. Are we breaking the fourth wall? I'll be back in no time. It's basically to say this is obviously a challenging area. Make sure to save it. So we'll go and do that. Because this, this one can actually be really hard depending on what gun data you do or don't have at this point. So, whoops, I don't know why I walked in there. All right, let's go and save it. Now, this is where I would have wanted to save it. So, All right, so if you want to make this section pretty easy, or at least easier, make sure to equip, basically equip the, the node I have, the, the gun data I've got. Uh, the twin nodes here, the, the rotating nodes will make it uh, a lot easier. Uh, uh, double orbit nodes, nor nodes, and then anything with a large range. So triple shot's got a pretty good range. Um, super wave might not be bad, um, but something that just gives you a lot of range for your uh, weapons. And then, uh, and then uh, the uh, oh, anything for the third one. Bubble works for me. So, all right, let's head on to uh, new mission. Let's head to the runes. But yeah, this is another large uh, ship section. So luckily we have uh, everything we need for this, uh, the proper nodes, a lot of damage, a good deal of smart bombs. I, I did use some off screen, but that's fine. Man, if I only had the one where you hit 30 shots and you get a new bomb, man, if only I quit that. No, I prefer the bubble or a spec scatter shot. Unfortunately, I'm not getting much well, actually, never mind. I was thinking about it. I wasn't getting much of the experience, but no, that's not true. I'm getting a decent experience. Oh, whoops. Probably should have held back a hot second and uh, shot at them. You know, usually areas like this, you don't want to lose HP because then you have to save it for the boss. So. Yeah. Don't want to don't want to kind of spam the attack in the button here, so I don't want to make too much noise. The only problem I have with the double node is that it's sometimes it's hard to focus on a specific target because, you know, it's moving all over the place. Uh, let's see if I can get that guy. Oh, nice. Got me the last second. Not that I need it or anything, it's just, you know. Although I would like to get a level before this is all over if I can help it, so. Oh, we got moving sections. Oh no! Watch out! Whoa! Good thing, uh, good thing Simon didn't give us a super fast ship, otherwise I'd have a little bit of a tougher time controlling it. They yeah, were fighting like, ugh! Oh yeah, I never shut off this enemy, the sandworm or whatever. What is this, Dune? A, what's the name of the character in Dune again? I saw Treyu or something? No, Treyu, that's a never ending story. Uh, golly, it's been forever since I've read or watched Dune. I haven't even seen the new one, so I don't even know if it's any good. People say it's good. I prefer the David Lynch version, the one that's like super, super weird. That has like Sting as one of the characters in it. Oh, man. Oh, well. Yeah, probably one of the few dangerous parts of this one is the, uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like we're moving around down here. We are... Well, we did go into ruins with a spaceship, so... So not surprising that, uh, you know, it might be filling up with sand, moving around, shifting all over the place. Ah, the guy got a little too close to comfort with his little pinchy claws there. I'm, and I'm saying no to pinchy claws. No, sir. Get out of here. Oh, nice level. So I can heal. Of course, I could have used the super bombs, too, to help me not have to worry about that guy, so... Yeah, just get through the gap there. Uh. Ah, man. Yeah, unfortunately, getting crushed here takes a bit, a bit of HP away. I should have played that a little bit more smarter. Oh, well. Alright. I'm surprised, uh, surprised our ship isn't up. Oh, no. 
At least getting hit by these guys. It's, it's almost better to get hit by the enemy and then hit the wall. Because that won't do as much damage to me at my, at my current uh, um, level. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, there we go. At least it's giving us something to do than just going left to right. Uh, like actually maneuvering around and everything. So, uh-oh. Oh, okay. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Is it boss time? It's boss time. All right, so this one's gonna be a little bit easier because we have the uh, twin nodes, the orbiting nodes. Because basically what we do have to do is we have to hit all these, uh, 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 moving uh, pictures here. Oh, not pictures here. You know what I mean. Bits of the wall. And because we're rotating, we're having a rotating uh, nodes, we can go through this a little bit faster, although it did take a little bit of damage there. This is why you want something with a decent range, because these things can, these things can be taken out in one shot. So it's all about just uh, trying to hit all of them pretty close together so we can, you know, not take damage. Oh, I took damage from one up here down there. Oh, well. I'm trying not to take extra damage if I can help it. And obviously, I have the screen filled with, like, um, shots. That's the problem with this thing as well. At some point, they'll start speeding up, and you'll have multiple shots on screen. But if you have the sp rotating uh, nodes, you can uh, uh, keep this down pretty quick easily for the most part. Uh, oh, careful. Yeah, the, the, da uh, the dangerous ones are the ones that pop up like right there. Yeah, it's an easier fight if you do it this way. Yeah, I'm actually went, I actually went faster than the, than the game when it came to... Uh... There we go. All right. Yep, and that's it. Yeah, one of the easier. Well, oh, and there's Scarlet right there. <laughs> I like the little just pixelated Scarlet there. Okay, I made visual contact with Scarlet. Pick her up already. Well, she, it looks like she wants to be grabbed, so obviously there's something going on here. Well, this is awkward. That was a close one. Thank goodness you got my note about hiding in the ruins. Note? I left you a note on the table. The note written in English? The note only you could read? Wow, you are a total brain case. Uh, er, what matters is that you have the antivirus, right? Wait, there was a note there? Did we just miss it this whole time? Yes, take it. You got the antivirus. Yeah, she didn't run off after all. She was hiding from, like, Bloon and Zart and all of them, so. It's your problem now. At least that's what she said anyway, so it's hard to trust her after everything that happened, but maybe, maybe, yeah, she's truthful, right? I mean, she hasn't really, I mean, this whole other than disappearing, it's not like she had a way to communicate with us, so yeah, I believe her story. Yeah, she apparently she just wrote us a note. Who do? Okay, now that we actually have the antivirus, we can keep turning on a short leash. We know Earth has a virus to destroy the weapon if it fell, falls to the krill. And if Earth gets the bioweapon, then you still have me. So, for the time being, the playfield is, is level. The only thing we don't know is why both Turney and the tyrannical overlord need six plants worth of alien matter to form the weapon. Why wouldn't one do the job? All the matter must be linked to the together for a reason. We'll find out, uh, we'll find out soon enough. Commander Zelly sends a greeting. Starbase 5 has taken position over the Forgotten Planet. Let's head out. All right, so yeah, that's it for chapter four of this game. So, was well, uh, man, this is a long, another long episode. So sorry about that. I was trying to be as efficient as I could, but that's just how it is. So, uh, with that done, uh, looks like um, Scarlet's back on the team again, and apparently it's all just a misunderstanding. And we've got the information for the Forgotten Planet. But what awaits us on the Forgotten Planet? Is it some ancient ancient monster technology? Are we gonna run into some crazy scientist or or uh, crazy robot? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Sigma Star Saga. Let's see, I have to actually start the mission first. So, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.